Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the binomial expansion. Now in an earlier tutorial I showed you that if you've got a plus b raised to a positive integer n say, then it was identical to this particular formula. Now these values here, nc0, nc1, nc2 and ncn, we could work out on a calculator but there's another way that we can get these values. I'll just highlight them for you. We'll just circle them like so. Now these values, as I say, you can work out on a calculator but Pascal, a French mathematician, came up with a pattern of numbers that would give us these values quickly. I'll show you what that pattern was. Okay. What he did, he started off with a 1 like this and then put a 1 either side of it. And then he put another row with a 1 and then adds up these two numbers. So 1 and 1 is 2 and put it in the middle here and then finish with a 1. At the start of the next row he put a 1, added these two numbers together, 1 and 2 making 3, put it in the middle there. Did 2 and 1 again and that comes to 3 and then a 1 on the end. And every time he starts a new row he puts a 1 down and then as I say just adds these numbers together 1 and 3, 4, puts it in the middle 3 and 3, 6, put it in the middle 3 and 1, 4 and then put a 1 on the end. So the next row would start with a 1 and then you'd have 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 and so on. And can you see we have this kind of triangular shape. So I say it's attributed to Pascal so we call it Pascal's triangle. So I'll just write that in there for you. So we've got this series of numbers. So what does this all mean? What connection has it got to this? Well if we take this row here 1 2 1 okay if we were to expand a bracket of the form a plus b to the power 2. These numbers 1, 2, 1, what you'd find out was that this would be 2c0, that comes to 1, the 2 is 2c1, coming to 2, and the 1 here is 2c2. And when we have this row here, these are the NCR values for the expansion a plus b all to the power 3. This one here is 3C0. You can try these on your calculator if you like. 3C1 gives 3. 3C2 gives 3. And 3C3 gives the 1. And finally this row is for a plus b to the power 4. 4 c 0 gives 1, 4 c 1, 4, 4 c 2, the 6, 4 c 3, the 4 and finally 4 c 4 gives the 1. So if we had to expand something like for instance 2 minus 5 x let's say 2 minus 5 x to the power 4 what would this be identical to? Well, because it's the power 4, these would be the values of our NCR terms. The ones that I've got circled in blue up here. So, first of all, it would be 4C0. 4C0 for the first NCR value. So we can see that that would be 1. So you could just put 1 in there like so. And then in the usual way, we would take the first term, raise it to the power 4, and the second term, minus 5x, that would be to the power 0. Then we'd have plus, and then normally it would be 4c1, but by Pascal's triangle, that's 4. So we just pop a 4 in there, and then we reduce our 2 in power down to 3 and then we increase the minus 5x up to the power 1. Next coefficient would be 4c2 but we can see through Pascal's triangle without doing it on the calculator it's going to be the 6. 
and then we're going to have a 4 further down so let's just put those in and then we're going to finally have the 1 and so we could just fill it in with the values we've got 2 it's now going to be down to power 2 and then we'd have minus 5x raised to power 2 and then plus we've got 4 drop the power of 2 by 1 so we're down to 1 and then increase this power so it's minus 5x to the power 3 plus then we've got our 4c4 or the 1 value here and then we have 2 to the power naught and minus 5x to the power 4. So you can see we could write these values in very quickly if we use Pascal's triangle. All we need to do is just tidy this up. I'll leave it to you just to check my results but what you should find is that you get 16 minus 160x plus 600x squared and then minus 1000 x cubed and then plus 625 x to the power 4. Okay, so you can see hopefully how useful Pascal's triangle is but it has got a few disadvantages I mean for instance suppose you are asked to expand something to the power 10 then you're going to need to build up Pascal's triangle right the way through until you get to the row that contains the values you need for the power 10. And that's going to be quite a lot of calculations. So in some ways Pascal's triangle is only useful, I feel, at the lower end of values. Anyway, just another way then that you could do this formula for your expansions to a positive integer power like 2, 3 and 4. Okay? Well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.